Okay, <clears throat> dear friends, good afternoon once again. I hope you all are doing good and your preparations are also going smoothly. Today also, we will take up some important questions. As I have mentioned last time, we will be taking up previous year's question as well as some expected questions okay <clears throat> let us wait for some more learners to join in let us wait for a minute and after that we will continue and i hope my audio and video is fi uh, working fine video i can see in my mobile screen but audio i'll be very happy if any one of you can confirm in the live chat box below I hope my audio is also working fine. Anyways, today is the end of month. So from tomorrow, a new batches are starting in an academy platform. So you kindly, if you are not enrolled, kindly do so. It will start from tomorrow, 1st of September. Okay. Also, <clears throat> UPSC, uh, for UPSC, an academy platform has come up with this learner's journey for complete one year. That is targeting the 2022 batch so it will also start from the from tomorrow that is 1st of september and the course will run and design in such a way that you will be in a very comfortable position to attempt or take up the exam in 2022 the plan is it is available in bilingual that is hindi as well as english english consisting of all the covering all the syllabus that is there in your UPSC syllabus. History, polity, uh, international relationship, ethics, okay, governance, internal security, disaster management, how many hours it will be, what is the duration of the session, everything is given. It is also available in English also, English only. Okay, similarly, for two-year course, okay, 2023 batch that is also starting from 1st of September that is tomorrow the course has been designed in such a way that you are prepared for 2023 similarly as I mentioned to you last time in an academy platform we have one new feature that is introduced that is raise hand raising the hand will enable you any learners to raise a caution verbally as if in the real classroom setting thereby experiencing a new experience will be there just like the actual classroom in the online platform right also UPSC has uh, an academy platform has come up with the UPSC ultimate surprise that is 20 book created by best UPSC expert in the platform okay it is having a hundred percent syllabus completion means syllabus are covered under this book it is highly structured and ease of learning will be there because the focus is UPSC explicitly for UPSC and also previous year questions are also included as a practice and also updated with current affairs and also the book is designed in such a way that the dynamic nature of UPSC exam is taken care into okay so that the UPSC exam is very dynamic in nature so accordingly such book which is 20 book is created by an expert in the platform clear Going ahead, as you all know, every Sunday at 11 a.m. there is a UPSC compact quiz kind of a competition. If you get through at least one to 500 of the rank, you end up getting at least some benefit out of this. So it happens every Sunday at 11 a.m. Now even the current affair is available. 60 minute 56 question and you will end up getting such a benefit. Okay, so don't wait any longer try to attempt for enrollment you can use my invite code it is s u n e p 10 1 0 okay so you can use my code and start attempting this okay anyways let us go ahead and try to take up some important questions today also the target is the upcoming UPSC prelims 2021 the first question is let me read for you to which of the following island, archipelago, 
to the islets Labyrinth Island and Ritchie Archipelago belong to? Options are A, B, C and D. I'll give you 10 seconds for this. Kindly attempt. You can send your answer in the chat box below. Okay. Good afternoon, Muhit Tiwari. Good afternoon. You kindly give the answer in the chat box below. I'll give you 10 seconds for this. Kindly attempt. <clears throat> Even if you are wrong, don't worry. It is a practice session. It will cost nothing. Okay. Rather, you will practice how to answer. But if you don't, but if you make the similar mistake in the exam, it will be very, very costly. Okay, anyways, the right answer is this number A, Andaman and Nicobar Island. This Labyrinth Island and Ritchie Archipelago belongs to this Andaman and Nicobar Island. How it is? Let us go and see. See, kindly follow the pointer. Here in this Andaman, in the southern part of this Andaman, if you follow the pointer, here you will find this Labyrinth Island. Now, this is important because Mahatma Gandhi marine national park is here in this particular labyrinth island and this labyrinth island this is a group of two islands one is the labyrinth island itself and the other one is a twin island now this island belongs to a rootland archipelago and they are located between rootland and south andaman as you know andaman is also divided the north andaman the middle andaman and the south andaman here you will have a little andaman okay the northern all this part consists the great andaman okay now the Ritchie Archipelago will be here in this. Okay, this is a Ritchie Archipelago. Clear? Let us go ahead. Yes, you are right, Mohit Tiwari. Very nice. Yes. Let us quickly go ahead. Number two. Let me read the question for you. With reference to glaciers in India, consider the following statement. Number one. Maximum development of glaciers occurs in the Pir Panjal range. Number two, Siajan Glacier is situated in the Nupra Valley. Number three, Gangodri Glacier, the source of Ganges, is located in the Kumau Karwal region of the Himalaya. Which of the statements given above is are correct? Option A, B, C, and D. I'll give you 10 seconds. Kindly attempt. Read the options very, very carefully. Maximum development of glaciers occurs in the Pir Panjal range. Siachen Glacier is situated in the Nupra Valley. Kangodri Glacier, the source of Ganges, is located in the Kumau Garwal region of the Himalaya. Which of the statement is right? Good, good. Good, yes. You are right, it's completely right. The right option is do. You tell me, then the option option do is the right answer. Okay, B is the right answer, which means A is wrong. Now, any of you, you can go ahead and tell me where does, in as far as the Indian subcontinent is concerned, where does the maximum development of glacier occurs? It occurs in Karagoram range. Okay. The maximum development of glacier occurs in this Karakoram range. Okay, this one. Yes, very, very true. Right. Let us quickly go ahead. Number three. What is the correct sequence of occurrence of the following passes as one proceeds from west to east? Uh, from east to west. From east to west. Mind you. From east to west. Okay. Option 1, Bamla, 2, Tipu Pass, 3, Khartungla Pass, 4 is Nathula Pass. Select the correct answer using the code given below. Again, I'll give you 10 to 15 seconds for this. Go ahead. Yes, very, very nice. Pranjal Tripathi, Tej Raman, good afternoon and welcome to the session. Okay, okay. Mm, 
which one c is the right option okay c is the right option two one four three two the full bus will come first you are arranging from east to west okay from east to west so Tipu Pass will come first. It is at the tri junction of Arunachal, okay, China and Myanmar, okay. Then comes the Bamla. This is also there in Arunachal. Then comes the Nathula Pass. Then comes the Khartungla Pass, okay. So this is the right sequence. So the right answer is C. Let us see. See Tipu Pass, Arunachal Pradesh at tri junction of India, China and Myanmar. Okay, this Tipu Pass. You can kindly go and see or locate in your atlas. Bamla, it is there in Arunachal. Nathula is there in Sikkim. Khartungla, it is located in Ladakh Range. Connecting the Leh with the Nupra Valley. Okay, Nupra Valley. There you have a Siachen base came also. Right, in the Nupra Valley. Let us quickly go ahead. Number four. With reference... To Western Ghats, consider the following statement. Number one, the Western Ghats are comparatively higher in elevation and more continuous than the Eastern Ghat. Second, their average elevation is about 1,500 meters with the height increasing from south to north. They stretch from River Tapi up to Kanyakumari. Which of the statement given above is are correct now you kindly read the sentence very very carefully why because everything you know already but the only thing is this type of a question comes in the exam the only purpose is how rightly or correctly you read the question okay just by misreading some of or overlooking some of the word you may end up making a silly mistake which is which will be very costly so read the question very very clearly uh, the options very very clearly uh, clearly yes okay okay good good mohit good good yes here the right answer is number four right the right answer is this one this is right this is right this is also as far as this is concerned this is right but here see it is from south to north increasing from south to north that is north when you see the western gut higher elevation is here in the southern part lower elevation in the northern part so the increase increase in the elevation is from south uh, from north to south not from south to north okay so this is a wrong statement if I change this from north and south here, then the statement remains right. Clear. So such a caution is very important when you read such a term or the word, you should not miss out. <coughs> Number five. Which of the following are you likely to find in the valley of Kashmir? Options are A, B, C, and D very simple i'll give you 10 seconds for this which of the following are it's a you can say type of a landform or a type of a soil you can say which of the following are you likely to find in the valley of kashmir good 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 barakati sri lakshmi good mohit good yes that is the right answer Karevas you will find in the valley of Kashmir. But let us quickly go ahead and see what are those. See, this is a, like a string deposit that you already know. And it is also very, very good for this saffron cultivation. A very high price crop. Okay. Now, these chars, these are riverine islands that you will find in the valley uh, in Brahmaputra. Formed by Brahmaputra through the silt deposition that take place. During monsoon, many of the char get partially or completely submerged. So the flooding that you see in the news, even now there are some kind of flooding that is going on in Assam. Nowadays, you know the channels, different type of river channels. You have this meandering, you have this sinusoidal 
in that category you have one known as braided channel p r a i braided channel and the other is anastomizing anastomizing now the difference between braided and anastomizing is anastomizing channel remains all braided and anastomizing they both comes under the category of river distributary we have river tributaries tributaries is which comes and connects the main river distributary is when they reach the river or when they reach the ocean the river tends to bifurcate bifurcate and such kind of bifurcation results in distribute uh, in generation of these distributaries so braided channel anastomizing channels they are a kind of a distributary network but braided channel main characteristics is they keep on shifting every time okay they keep on shifting every time anastomizing they remain stable that is the basic difference between braided channel and anastomizing now in braided channel these are you know kind of you, you can say braided channel the brahmaputra river carrying load of sediments comes when it reach the lower region it deposit forming such kind of a riverine island okay buyals are you will find in alpine pasture land or meadows in the himalayas in the state of uttarakhand where they are also called as nature's own garden this particular term is important nature's own garden is known as buyal and the other option which is given here the dhayas dhayas is nothing but it is just like a natural levees natural levees natural levees is i'll give you a cross sectional uh, view when a river comes say for example this is a river channel and this is a flood plain now during the summer what will happen the river volume will increase they will overflow into the flood plains during the process of such kind of overflowing what will happen sediments will be deposited here that is a natural levee on the other hand when the river flows it also makes certain kind of erosion and creation of a such kind of a structure this is known as dhayas or bluff p l u f f s okay let us quickly go ahead number 6 match list 1 with list 2 in the list 1 i have important plant species in the list 2 i have important forests select the correct answer using the code given below number 6 i'll give you 10 seconds for this good good yes yes good mohit tiwari that is very nice yes very right okay see the right the right answer is a okay the right answer is a mahogany you will find here this is a tropical evergreen forest species this sisam you will get in tropical deciduous this walnut you will get in the himalaya moist and juniper you will get in the albine now as i have already mentioned in some of the previous classes also or previous session also there are many plant species it is very difficult to remember all those and that is also not required the good news is that is not required okay because you psc or any competitive exam it is not an exam to test your memory but your awareness about the things now then how to tackle such kind of a plant species related question and also type of the forest these are very very important plant species so you go to any kind of you know kind of a biosphere reserve or different type of uh, forest vegetations you see some important one one or two is good enough and that is within your capacity to remember also okay and to retrieve back when it is required in the exam see in tropical evergreen forest mahogany is there along with this see these are some of the important this one in tropical deciduous you have sal you have mulberry or sandalwood you can say in mountain forest you have silver fir juniper pine okay all those clear let us quickly go ahead number 7 with reference to the drainage pattern 
consider the following statement Trilize pattern develops where hard and soft rocks exist parallel to each other. Number second, when rocks are strongly joined, then rectangular pattern is developed. Number three, when the river channel flows the slope of the terrain, it develops dendritic pattern. Which of the statement given above is are correct? Option one, A, B, C, and D. <coughs> Yes, which one is right? I'll give you 10 seconds for this. Kindly attempt, all of you. Okay, good, good, good answer is coming. Yes, yes, very nice, very nice. In fact, I'm very happy to see <coughs> majority, the ratio of the right answer is quite high. Very nice. Good. Okay, let us go ahead. Just for the benefit of all, I believe in the principle of equality and democracy. So, some of you must be in a very advanced stage of preparation. Some of you may be in the intermediate. Some of you might, may be in the basic. So, in order to bring some equality in the class or in the session, let me quickly give you a brief idea about the patterns that we have discussed. Oh, by the way, the right answer is C. Okay. All of this one two and three all of this is right now see tree lies pattern is like this you have a hard rock you have a soft rock hard rock soft rock so what will happen the river will flow in the soft part soft part and finally it is like this the similar structure and net like structure will be developed when you have a hard rock join like this so in this joint, a river will start to flow. So in the final analysis, you will find a net-like structure like this. But the causes are different. This is because of the hard and soft rock. This is because of the joint of the rock. So the final outcome, visually, it's almost the same. But the causes are different. And it is important for you to understand the cause. Okay. The third one is dendritic is in a hilly region. This is the main river. The tributary comes and join like this in the form of a tree-like structure. Okay, that is known as dendritic pattern. Quickly, number eight. Which of the following makes the highest contribution to the wetland habitat of India? Option A, B, C, and D. Read the question very, very properly and try to correlate. Okay. There may be some question in the exam which must be kind of a new. Okay. Means the terms may be very common, but the correlation with the caution, the correlation between the caution and the option must be a little bit different, but that is the nature of UPSC exam. Okay. Okay, try 70%. Okay, no problem. Okay. No problem. Good, good. But that is... Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. The right answer is B. Okay. Paddy field. It, it makes the highest contribution to the wetland habitat of India. Okay. So, oh, whoever answered this one, don't worry. See, that's why. It is a practice session. Even if you make mistake, you will learn from it. Okay. See, if you attempt this, if you are wrong, then in the next time, in some of your competitive exam, if similar question comes, you are not going to make mistake. But if you don't attempt, what will happen? You may even make mistake in the future exam. So, attempting in the practice session will lose nothing. You will only gain, even if you are right or wrong. Okay. Anyways, let us... Yes, and Mohit Tiwari, you are completely right. It is 70%. Okay. Number 9. Which of the following ecological pyramid is are upright in the case of pond ecosystem? Pond. The ecosystem is pond. Here the keyword is pond. Okay. Ecological pyramid. Select the correct answer using the code given below. Options are A, B, C, and D. I will give you 15 seconds for this because here you have to think a little bit. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Try, try, but think again and try. 
Okay, good. We'll wait for some more answers to come. We'll wait for another five seconds. Very, 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 very nice. Good. Yes. Yes, you all are right. The right option is number nine, right? The right option is B. Okay, one and three. As you know, energy pyramid is always upright. As far as energy is concerned, it is always upright. Okay. There is one loop in the ecological pyramid regarding the energy. Lindemann's loop or law of 10 person you can see. If in a food chain and food web, if I have this 100 person of energy here, then only divided by 10. 10 person goes to the next higher tropic level. Okay, so pyramid of energy will always be upright. No matter what type of ecosystem or in whatever system it may be aquatic or terrestrial or it may be between different type of relationship okay but pyramid of number pyramid of biomass will change here it is like this in a pond ecosystem e pyramid of number is the number of species okay number of species so it is like this diadom in the form of marine or <coughs> phytoplankton you have this huge number it is fed by zooplankton fish so the number of species becomes less whereas the biomass as such the biomass keeps on increasing so it is inverted this is upright okay let us quickly go ahead number 10 with reference to forest cover in india consider the following statement number one lakshadip has zero percent forest area number two most of the states with less than 10 percent of the forest area lie in the north and northwestern part of the country number three the southern slope of the himalayas carry a thicker vegetation com cover compared to the northern slope which of the statement given above is are correct a b c and d i'll give you 10 seconds for this kindly at that Okay, I'll give you one hint for this question. Okay, good, good, good. Very nice. I think you don't require any hint. All of you are very, very updated. Okay, don't worry. Okay, see, I'll give you one hint. Forest cover, forest area, they are different. Okay, reserve forest area forest cover okay all those are different term the definition is given by moef you need to know that okay anyways so the right answer is number 10 right answer is d uh yeah mohit that is right answer and okay okay Difia Difia 3 it is right answer very good okay very good. The right answer is D. Okay. All this, one, two, three, all these are right. Now, if you go and see, most of the state with less than 10% of the forest area lie in the north and northwestern part of the country. That is very true. In the north, northwestern part of the country, you will find less amount of forest. On the other hand, the southern slope of the Himalaya carry thicker. Why? Because the orientation of the Himalaya itself when the monsoon wind comes on the southern side more precipitation on the northern side less precipitation temperature is also lesser on the other side uh, other side okay regarding this luxative has zero percent forest cover let us go a little bit deeper and try to dig some more information see total forest cover in luxury is 90.33 percent of the geographical area okay mind you that's why see the term forest area and forest cover is different as far as forest area is concerned it is zero percent but as far as forest cover is concerned it is 90.33 percent of geographical area however there is no rfa means the for reserve forest area so in this question it can be reserve forest area or forest area they are all the same now this forest cover is defined by moefc uh, it defines that 
more than one hectare in area with a tree canopy density of more than 10 percent this definition is important you need to remember that is forest cover now another term is the tree cover tree cover is defined as a tree patches outside the recorded recorded forest area okay this is recorded forest area okay i stand corrected this rfa is recorded forest area okay exclusive of forest cover and less than the minimum mapable area of one hectare this is the technical definition given by moefcc okay this one tree cover forest cover definition is different from this statement itself caution can uh, caution can be asked the term forest area denotes a legal status so it is not actually the physical presence of the tree as such or the forest as such forest area refers to a legal status okay of the land as per the government record whereas the forest cover indicates the presence of tree over any land i hope that is clear so the purpose of giving this particular question is regarding the difference between forest area the forest cover the tree cover and also what actually it means in real life okay anyways let us quickly go ahead number 11 with reference to international north south transport corridor consider the following statements it number one it connects india ocean and indian ocean and persian gulf to the caspian sea number two it was initiated by russia india and iran number three is it is based on an ancient route that connected south asia with north europe select the correct answer using the code given below i'll give you 10 seconds for this kindly attempt okay okay ankit anand okay good good attempt see this <coughs> particular north south corridor is in the recent past just few months back it has again been come to the forefront the proposal by india to include afghanistan as the eastern part of it okay so let us see okay 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 good nice nice okay ankit anan and shivangi srivastava share you rathor i'm very sorry if i am pronouncing your name uh, incorrectly uh, pardon me if I don't uh, if I'm not able to pronounce your name correctly okay but anyways you all are right uh, the right uh, the right option is the right option is D okay it connects Indian Ocean with Persian Gulf to, uh, Indian Ocean and Persian Gulf to Caspian Sea it was initiated by this now new members are included but usually initiated by this three country and it is also based on the ancient roots okay now let us quickly go ahead see it is the root so the present root is like this it is quite circuitous like this but now this is goes through this pandar abbas it is a caspian sea and it is how now in the recent past there is a proposal by india to go via this chapahar Port. I don't know whether you can see this or not. Chapahar, I'll write here. Chapahar Port. India has a very big investment here. Chapahar Port. Via this to Zaranj and Kabul. Okay. And this to be a part of the North South Corridor, but the eastern section. Okay. Eastern section of this. Clear? And give uh, and uh, uh, keeping in mind the unfolding situation that is happening in the Afghanistan, I'll give you one important information. That is, you see, important rivers, important desert, important mountain ranges. Kindly go and see in this Afghanistan region, okay? Because as per the UPSC pattern, if there is any location that is in the news, then usually caution comes from this sections, and also kindly follow the pointer don't forget about this region also okay these are very very important regions recently 
In the last class also I have mentioned a conflict brewing up between Hamas and the Israel in this particular region. Clear? You have an, one important place here that is the last holding ground of the anti-Taliban force. What is the uh, name of that place? Okay, I'm, I'm very <coughs> humbled by that. Sheyut Rathor, yes. Yes, Sheer. Pangshir, okay. It is the last holding ground that, yes, yes, very right. Shravil Sharap, Saurap, yes, very right, yes, yes. It is a part of Northern uh, Alliance, okay. It was there right from the Russia, uh, Russian time, okay. Anyways, let us go ahead. But keep that in mind for locational aspect and as far as your international relation and also Central Asia is concerned, kindly follow the news number 12 with reference to sundri and dominant mangrove tree species of the sundarbans consider the following statement it is highly valued for its timber the second is the iucn has assess it as being endangered which is the correct answer yes 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 Okay, the right answer is this one. Okay, both one and two. How it is? See, it is also named by different, like this also. Okay, so keep this in mind. It is threatened by over harvesting. Okay, it is threatened, we know, but important is how it is over harvesting. Water diversion in the Ganges Basin. Very, very important. If you want to go and do additional reading, you can do so. Fluctuation in salinity due to upstream and coastal development. All this, suppose if you want to go and read some additional material, kindly do so. This is very important. Okay, quickly go ahead. Number 13. I will read the question for you with reference to the break in the monsoon. Which of the following statement is are correct? It is a period between southwest and northeast monsoon. That is one. The second is during this break, the monsoon trough lies at the foothills of the Himalayas after northward shift yes 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 number 13 very yes pragati sri lakshmi and mohit tiwari your answer about 12 is completely right okay yes Break in the monsoon in a sense, in the middle of a monsoon you can say, there will be a non-rainy season for non-rainy days for around a week or a two, two, a week or a two, one week or two weeks. Such kind of break in the monsoon, in the monsoon season it is known as break in the monsoon. The right answer is this one. Yes, all of you are right. Uh, uh, Ankit Anand, uh, Mohitiwari, yeah, all of you are right. Good. Okay, anyways, nothing more to explain here. Let us go ahead. Number 14. With reference to niche, consider the following statement. Number one, it is the functional role played by a species in an ecosystem. Number two, no two species have identical niches. Okay, very simple, but just wanted to check your basics. So, number 14, kindly answer. Number 14, kindly think and answer. Number 14. <coughs> okay, yes, yes. Good attempt. Okay. Yes, yes, good. Naren, Naren, yes, that is right. Pragati is right. Shivanki is right. Mohit is right. Okay. See, the right answer is C. Okay. Right answer is C. Both. See, suppose if I have a tree, in this tree I will have butterflies, I will have birds, I will have different insects. Okay, some will feed on the seed, some will feed on this. So, that is the eating habit. That is known as niche means every species has certain specific role that they play 
specific role in terms of food habit shelter okay shelter habitat dwelling place also the reproductive system so each and every organism has a specific functions that it perform in the ecosystem that is known as niche that's why only in one area many organism by nature unless and until it is disturbed by human being because human being is a big issue okay anyways let us go ahead Chal. number 15 again very simple just five seconds for this i will read the question for you consider the following seasons summer winter spring autumn monsoon which of the above statement is are known as weaker season okay weaker season in india i think i have blocked that i will write the one which is blocking by b that is weaker season okay a c a s o n s seasons in india which of those very simple kindly attempt the right answer is three and four okay autumn and spring we have summer we have proper winter we have proper monsoon but spring and autumns are the two seasons which are weaker in the indian context okay let us go ahead number 16 the indian drainage system is the outcome of which of the following factor number one geological time period number two the nature and structure of rocks number three chemical property of water number four gradient that is the slope number five amount and periodicity of the water flow number six is topography select the correct answer using the code given below yes good good attempt everybody attempt see even if you don't know i'll give you one hint see in the upsc prelims even <coughs> the successful candidate they only know they don't know 100 percent they know only around 50 to 50 to 60 40 50 60 percent of the paper but the rate of attempt that they do is around 60 to 70 some even go up to 80 percent 90 percent so how they do certain kind of elimination that it will come only through practice okay only through practice it will come how do you eliminate if you are not sure about the answers okay here also see even if you don't know anything suppose you can easily or you can safely eliminate this if you eliminate this tree go to the option and see where tree is not there and tree is everywhere except in b so b seems to be a right answer and yes b is the right answer okay so even if you are not that much well aware about say for example here like amount or the periodicity of the water flow or if you are not that well aware about any of the geological time period from the given option what you can safely safely uh, safely reduce is this one okay so geological time period yes based on the time period the nature of the drainage is evolved the drainage such as yes, uh, superimposed drainage i think yesterday we have already seen superimposed drainage that is there in the important characteristics of drainage in peninsular india now such kind of a superimposed drainage is possible in the peninsular india because the peninsular india remains as a stable block for a very long period of time okay now antecedent type of a river that is there in the himalayan region now the nature and structure of the rock we have just seen the trillies and the rectangular type of drainage pattern the gradient the sloping very obvious amount and periodicity of the water flow and topography itself so all the options is right except for three number c okay <coughs> okay it is the only wrong option means the option b is the right answer okay number 17 very interesting chalo consider the following volcanoes shifting cultivation rolling stone friction of swaying bamboos which of the above can be responsible for causing forest fire okay causing forest fire as you know forest fire is becoming very very important issue it is not only destroying life and property but also the ecological destruction that it is causing is unimaginable 
and that is also because climate change, Australia forest fire, El Leno, Indian Ocean Diebol, you kindly go and see all this aspect and try to correlate with either a drought or a heavy rain. Heavy rain will cause flooding. Drought will cause forest fire in Australia and also in the American continent. Okay, very, very important. You kindly go and do the necessary reading. Yes, number 17, kindly attempt. Yes, kindly attempt. It's okay, even if it is wrong. Don't worry. Attempt. There is a specific cloud related to forest fire. See, when there is a forest fire that is happening, what will happen? The smoke will come out. Okay, the moisture and it will go up, forming some kind of a cloud. What is the name of this cloud? Anyone? Shivanki Srivastava. Good. Yeah, kindly, yes, yes. The right answer is D. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Every of the option that is given. Volcanoes, yes, that is quite obvious. Shifting cultivation, yes. In June cultivation, it causes forest fire. Rolling stone, see, when the stone rolls down on a dry area, and this, not only one stone is coming. There will be hundreds and thousands of them will be coming. Friction, because of the friction, such kind of forest fire is caused. Friction by swaying bamboos also cause such kind of. And after all, you can light a fire using this bamboo rubbing against each other. So that is quite obvious. Okay, so all the four options are right. Now, during the forest fire, a cloud which is formed because of the smoke and so what is the name of that particular cloud? Any one of you? The name of the cloud is Pyrocumulo cloud. Okay, cumulo cloud. You kindly go and read. Okay, Pyrocumulo nimbus or Pyrocumulus cloud. Uh, cumulo nimbus. No. Yes, that is there, but in the initial uh, in the first you have to write pyro okay pyro cumulus okay ankit anand good attempt but you have to mention pyro cumulus okay pyro cumulus okay and unlike other type of cloud this pyro cumulus is actually not good see whenever there is a cloud we think like a precipitation will come yes the precipitation sometimes it will come sometimes it may not come but this pyro cumulus cloud is not good for forest fire why because this cloud will again give rise to lightning and this lightning will strike the nearby area creating more forest fire so the formation of this pyrocumulus cloud is not good for forest fire rather than giving rain it is giving more trouble to the already undergoing forest fire in the surrounding region okay so kindly go and read if possible in the next session i will take up some point related to this okay anyways let us go ahead number 18 which of the following is responsible for the brust of monsoon in india number a b c and d setting up of easterly jet stream along 15 degree north northward shift in the position of intertropical convergence zone to the foothill of the himalayas number c setting up of westerly jet stream over north indian plain number d incoming tropical depressions determined by position of itcz itcz is intertropical convergence zone clear <coughs> kindly think very properly okay this is a very very important question because the entire monsoon if you answer this right then your moon your understanding of indian monsoon is right if you miss this then you have to read it again anyways try try chalo come on i'll give you another 10 seconds or 15 seconds just think just to correlate the thing uh, try to correlate the things okay number 18 okay this is the right answer okay number a setting up of easterly jet stream 
This is the right answer, number 18. Okay, how it is? Uh, let me give you a brief idea about that. Okay, see. Indian monsoon, there are two basic understanding. One is the classical reasoning, that is creation of low pressure coming. And now we have this dynamic concept of Indian monsoon. Okay, dynamic concept. In this dynamic concept, see, what happened is, earlier it was thought like it is a seasonal reversal because of the in summer heating up of the north i will draw a map for you okay now say for example heating up of this northwestern part of northwestern part of india uh, the southwest monsoon come and in the summer in the winter uh, coldness of this and warming differential in temperature that was the classical theory about the indian monsoon but now we go as uh, but now with the more understanding understanding and more better equipments now we go for the um, dynamic concept of indian monsoon now during uh, in this study of dynamic concept of indian monsoon the tibetan plateau which is here plays a very important role as you know you have a jet stream westerly jet stream now the in summer this westerly jet stream in the winter they flow like this south of the himalayan ranges like this south of this like this okay like this it flows like this in the winter but in the summer it goes to the north like this during this process there is a substantial amount of heating of this tibetan plateau tibetan plateau is a very big it is a roof of the world it is land and bread is more than a thousands of kilometer so from such a huge area that is also having a elevation very high a low pressure on the surface but on the other hand anti-cyclonic circulation in the upper air okay mark my word anti-cyclonic circulation in the upper air in the northern hemisphere cyclonic circulation is anti-clockwise like this because uh, wind blows from high pressure to low pressure like this because of Coriolis force it tends to ache in the right and finally they make a geostrophic wind like this and they flow anti-clockwise on the other hand anti-cyclonic circulation is clockwise in the northern hemisphere so low pressure below re resulting in the high pressure above and this is anti-cyclonic circulation which is clockwise in nature in the northern hemisphere and this circulation is in the upper air upper atmospheric circulation now this anti-cyclonic circulation in the upper air will come like this and this gives rise to the easterly jet stream okay and this easterly jet stream appears only during summer in the winter it is absent clear so this is a dynamic concept because of the heating of the tibetan plateau and this is the reason why the thrust of the monsoon in india happens because of this okay because of setting up of easterly jet stream because see unlike the other rain system or the weather system actually yes of course one important point is the moon because of climate change and global warming the monsoon is becoming more erratic okay very difficult to predict and also the basic characteristics these days more rainfall happening in a very short amount of time in a very short uh, in a very small area but usually or the general characteristics of monsoon is it comes with a suddenness suddenness in the rain or the suddenness in the arrival of the monsoon is one of the characteristics of Indian monsoon. And that is because of withdrawal of the westerly jet stream and establishment of the easterly jet stream in the upper air. All these are upper air circulation. Keep that in mind. Okay. Anyways, let us go ahead. Number 19. The highest peak in the eastern Ghat is very, very simple. All this you will find in the other place so it is the right answer let us quickly go ahead number 20 with reference to the state of mizoram 
Consider the following statement. It is known as the land of rolling hills. It is also known as a molasses basin. Which of the above statement is are correct? <clears throat> okay, okay. 20. Good. Attempt. Good. 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 Angkit Anan. Good. Mohit Tiwari. Good. Okay. Good. Shivanki Srivastava. Good. Yes. Yes. All of you have answered correctly. This is the right answer. Okay. It is uh, land of rolling hills and also molasses basin. Okay. What is molasses basin? Collection of unconsolidated sandstone or shells okay in a foreland basin what is foreland basin this is the right answer okay c is the right answer now see <coughs> you have this foreland basin foreland basin is in any places where there is a undulation like this mountain system what happened this is formed because of the compression okay in the crust so if i have a crust like this if there is a compress compressive force in both the direction the form formation of such a mountain ranges or undulating surfaces will result in depression depression here and in this depression a unconsolidated soft shell and sandstone will collect such kind of a collection is known as molasses basin okay very very important again keeping in mind the recent uh, in the recent time the Mizoram coming in the news it becomes important okay anyways number 21 chemical fertilizers are harmful for the soil mainly because of a b c and d 10 seconds okay good 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 chalo chalo simple question but very easy to make a mistake yeah that's why simple question very easy to make mistake so kindly don't make a mistake <sighs> very easy to make mistake okay it seems all the option is right but that is not the option you have to select only one and in exam you cannot make your own uh, choices right it is not like you put one option like all of the above you have to remain confined with the number of options that is given. Mm -hmm. Prakati Sri Lakshmi, very nice. Chalo, I'll give you again uh, 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 10 seconds. Kindly at please. Prakati Sri Lakshmi, that is very, you have answered correctly. Very, very nice. Okay. The right answer is C. Okay, C. Increase in the salinity of the soil is usually related with the irrigation. Okay. Reduction of nitrogen is not directly related to the use of chemical fertilizers. Okay. It can increase rather. Now, loosening of soil that is not. So, one of the best option left is they harden the soil and in fact they do so because of the absence of, absence of what? When you use more chemical fertilizers, there is an absence or there is an imbalance of organic matter, humus, organic matter. So when the organic matter is less, see, there is a direct correlation. When the chemical fertilizers are used more and more, then you should understand that the organic matter or humus will be less. When it is less, it hardens the soil okay, and reduces its fertility in the long run. So the right option is 20, uh, C, that is this one. Okay, let us quickly go ahead. Number 22. This will be the last question for today. Consider the following features of a type of soil. It is infertile and does not support any vegetative growth. It lacks in nitrogen and calcium but is rich in sodium, potassium and magnesium. In India, it is found in Western Gujarat and Sundarban area of West Bengal. Which of the following soil is best described by the above feature? 
A, B, C and D. Okay. This will be the last question. So all of you kindly attempt so that we end in a very happy knot. Very simple. Okay. 22. And the right answer is B. Okay. Saline soil. Okay. That you will find in both of this region. But anyways, I also have, uh, see, because of limitations of time, I am not able to discuss everything here in the class, uh, here in this YouTube session. But I also have a plus course in Unacademy platform where it is more interactive. As I have mentioned, there is an option of raise your hand also. There we can interact verbally and things like Indian monsoon, all those we discuss in detail because there we get enough ample amount of time. Okay, so you can always join me there if you wanted to clear your basics and all those related to geography and environmental as well okay but anyway thank you all for giving your time and for patience and being such a sporty in answering uh, cooperating and answering the question it is indeed a very big encouragement and pleasure for me to come up with a better better you know version of session related to geography and environment as far as your UPSC syllabus is concerned thank you thank you Thank you so much. Good evening and have a good uh, have a good time. Okay.